fire out. They screaming peace when there ain't no peace. Israel prophesying in the streets. Look at me, the center of attention. Black Messiah coming with a vision. Coming with a vision. Black Messiah coming with a vision. They screaming peace, it ain't no peace. We prophesying in the streets. We seeking peace in the streets of Babylon. Brandis and Glock 40 tucking heat like a carry on. Sending against the fathers, got me sleeping, not napping on. Christ the King revealed this aerial phenomenon. Kick it against the bricks, lose your soul when that fire come. We purified, better than gold, got my Bible on. And that's all that I know, where Babylon gon' fall, watch it blow, ayy. Switching it up, the nation's gon' drink it, I'm talking to cup, don't care what you thinking, believe in the gospel, the godly's thinking, the fires of heaven gon' gather for dinner, the ear of the flesh, the wicked, the sinner, your mama, your sister, your daddy, your cousin, if they is, if they mind, they don't repent. This You saw that, oh, that older black man with the gray hair. You saw him come up here, right? You saw that, right, sis? You saw the older black man. You know that's why our community jacked up, right? Bring it up! Bring it up! The IL's don't never want to take responsibility for what they did to us. You understand what I mean? All our grandmothers, grandfathers, they always say, what's wrong with the young community? What's wrong with them young black men? They did that to us. They taught us white Jesus. They taught us birthdays and Christmas. They taught us that it don't matter what you do, you still gonna be saved. So what a young brother gonna go out here and do when he see other brothers out here with guns when he go to, when he go to school? When somebody tell him after school, hey look, after school we gonna jump your ass. What are you supposed to do? He ain't never learned nothing. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of our older community, they ought to talk about the evil going on in Jackson. They was already doing that evil. Let me ask you a question. You grew up with your father in the house? What about you, sis? You grew up with your father in the house? Yeah. You? Until I was about 10. But okay. I'm, I'm 60 now. Okay, so you're a different generation. Right there, you 60? Like Look good, sis. <laughs> you all right. <laughs> all praise to the most high. That black don't crack. That's how you know we're the greatest people yeah, on earth. Sure. Yeah. You see what I'm saying, sis? But what I'm saying is, a lot of us didn't grow up with our fathers. But then they gonna blame us for being out here in the streets. Which we shouldn't be in the street, don't get me wrong. But ain't nobody ever guided us. So like the young, like the older brother, he come through here and he wanna take all the knowledge from the community. He wanna take the money from the community. Why would you be a pastor in 2022? Just be honest. Everybody leaving the Christian church, bro. So why would you want to be a pastor in 2022? Right. Because you know it's money involved. Right. You can make money off your people. That's what it is. Let me show you one scripture. I'm going to give it back to the brother. Go to Baruch 4 and 4 real quick. Let me show you something the prophet Baruch talked about. See, what's wrong with our older black men? They want to give everything to the white man. Here they have served the white man their whole life. Our people have served the white man their whole life. He owned the business. He owned the city. He owned the taxes. He owned the country. So we got to go to him for everything. So many of our older black men, they docile, they weak. They like, man, I, I can't do no better without master. Nobody tell you, man, to keep your head down, to be quiet, don't say nothing, don't look them in the eye. They teach you that to keep you like them. But it's a new breed of black man on the earth today. We stand up for our people, we go to the communities and stand up for our people and give them the word. What else you got, bro? Chapter 4, verse 4. Come on. Happy are we. For these that are pleasing to God are made known unto us. See, in 2022, the things that's pleasing to God is made known to us. Yeah. All right. The Lord done opened up our understanding. He done revealed the mysteries. Wow. Jesus Christ, a black man, according to the Bible. Yeah. 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 Israel, come up out of them churches. Right. Start giving the pastor your hard-earned money. Yeah. Start giving these folks your tax return. Right. Try to tell you how much you're supposed to pay in tithes. Right. That's the evil that's going on in our community. Right. You wonder why the young black men out here killing each other? Because they don't know Jesus yeah. black. Yeah. Right. They think Jesus a white man. Right. So when they see the white man, they look down. When they see their brother, they look up with a barrel pad pointed right in his forehead. Right. The Bible said we the greatest people on the planet Earth. Right. Now we know in the last days, we gon' please God by what? Marrying our wives. Yeah. We ain't seen no need to jump off. We got one woman that's gonna hold us down. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? We wanna run out here and put our rod and everything in Jackson. Noah Jackson number one in chlamydia. Yeah. Jackson number one in HIV. Jackson number one in gonorrhea. You put your rod in too many different women, bro. Get you one woman and repent. Yeah. Come up out the strip club. Stop messing with these sisters, they got their mind right, they gonna trap you. Like the dude, you know that, that song, uh, what's the dude name? 
Uh, what's the little dude name in Jacksonville got that song? His name, what his name was? Fulio. Fulio. He got a song where he say, where's Corbin? You know what I'm talking about? It's all on TikTok. He yeah. where's Corbin? Body got rocked. Papa got shot. All that stuff like that. These yeah. little young brothers, that's drill music. They out here rapping about what they doing in the community, bro. Yeah. They took a little brother. A brother got set up by a girl. A sister set him up. And they end up putting his bones in a damn uh, field somewhere out in Florida. That's the evil going on in our community. That's why God said this, read it in. So you, oh, Israel. Talk, you know how it go down. Watch this, read that for him. Oh, Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to God are made known unto us. The things that's pleasing to God are made known unto us. God has showed us, hey, I want you to repent and keep the commandments. That's why right. these men are doing. You think, man, you got about, what, 60 men out here? Man, it's thousands upon thousands of us. Yeah. And we, brought, we brought the whole congregation down here. We shut Jackson, Mississippi down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just raised 60 men. And that's all the power we need right here to come and get a young man like you. A young prophet like you. We got brothers that live the same life you living right now, bro. We got brothers that did work. We got brothers that have been in the pen. We got brothers that sold dope. We got brothers that have knocked people off back in the day. And guess what? They repented. Same right. thing about the Bible. The Bible relates to our life. Paul was a murderer. Bring it out, Cap. Peter went to jail. They make us feel bad about the stuff we done went through. No, God going to resurrect us out of this evil mindset. Yeah. With black men problems in this Bible. This ain't no white man book. This is the blackest book on the planet earth. Right. What you got, bro? Come on, read. Verse oh, 5. Come on. Be a good cheer, my people. Yeah. God said, be a good cheer, my people. Now we ain't talking about no uh you gonna get blessed and highly favored like they talking about the Christian church. The pastor said right. you that so you open up your damn wallet. Right. right. Read again. Right. Be a good cheer, my people. Read. The memorial of the Bible said a memorial of Israel. We're supposed to remember who our fathers is. Moses, our father. Ain't no white man went into Africa and saved no, no uh, black folks. That was a black man. You feel what I'm saying? Go ahead, watch this part. He was sold to the nation. Hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. I hear this, sis. I want you to hear this real quick, sis. Because this real, it's our history right here. Read it again. What did it say? He was what? He was sold to the nation. We got sold to the so called white man when we came over here in America. They sold us to him. We got off the ship in Natchez, Mississippi, because that was the second biggest slave port. They sold us in Natchez. When they talk about, you ever seen the movie Life with Eddie Murphy? Maybe he said they going to Natchez under the hill. They used to sell us as slaves at Natchez under the hill. They making fun of us by putting a club down there. Send them niggas down there to go club where we used to sell them on, on ships. They got our mind messed up, bro. They don't know, we, they don't teach us our history. Look at this. They sold our forefathers. Look how they beat this man back in. Beat his back in, raped his wife in front of him. Look, got our black women nursing their white babies. You see that? Look at this, in the cotton field, in Greenwood, Mississippi. We made America great. That's why white folks, you go to Madison, you see them big houses they got? You know how they got them, don't you? Because your ancestors picked fought cotton for their ancestors. And they passed the land down to their sons and daughters, and now their sons and daughters reap off that land. Greenwood, Mississippi, the cotton capital of the world. You own any type of land in Greenwood, Mississippi, you're going to make money. You understand? Know watch the key read. Watch this part. You were sold to the nation, not for your destruction. So, God, look at that. You see that right there, King? You see that right there? You see that right there, sis? What did it say? Sell. The Bible real. He said you were sold to the nations, meaning to the other races. Read. Not for your destruction. Not to destroy us. God didn't do this to destroy us. Read. But because you moved God to wrath. Because you moved God to wrath. We made God angry. That's the only way this could happen. That's why we struggle in the community, bro, because we broke, we pissed God off. You know it's gotta be divine. How come every city you go to, we live in the hood? Bring it out. That's a design. Worst food stores in their hoods. That's a food depot. You know what they selling us? They selling us garbage. They selling us trash. Big fives and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says that's because we broke God's command. Now, where's the one that say, uh, "What's given to you don't get to a strange nation"? That verse three. Read three. Verse three. This is what I want. Give not thine honor to another. You hear that? No. Yeah, don't give your honor to another. Guess what your honor is? That the kingdom of heaven for you and you only. Yeah. Gonna tell you it's for all races. So, so you mean to tell me the white man oppress your people, beat you on your back, 
put you on a slave ship, then when you got on a slave ship and you made them billions of dollars, then they put you in the ghetto and left you to fear for yourself. Then they put drugs in the ghetto to destroy your brothers, to destroy your fathers. Many of us don't have fathers in our house because during the 80s they fell to the crack epidemic. You see what I'm saying? They took our fathers out the house and put them in jail. Took our fathers out of the house and made them gay. Took our fathers out of the house and, put, and gave them dope charges. You understand what I'm saying? They did that to destroy us. So you mean to tell me they gonna do all that and God gonna get them the kingdom of heaven next to us? That don't make no sense. That would make God unjust. That's why our people don't believe the Bible. Our people don't believe the Bible because the pastor telling you that the same person that oppress you gonna be in the kingdom of heaven with you. That don't make no sense. That's why people say if a white man in heaven, I don't wanna go. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Because of all the evil he did to us. That's why the Bible say, what read again, verse three? Come on, Luke, chapter four, verse three. Come on, give not thine honor to another. So don't give your honor to another. This Bible for you. It's yours. Go ahead, watch this. Nor the things that are profitable are to be to a strange nation. Here it is. The Bible said, don't give the things that's profitable to you to a strange nation. What's a strange nation? Let me show him something. Look at this, King. The strange nation is anybody outside these 12 tribes right here. You got Judah, that's the so-called African Americans. You got Benjamin, that'll be your, your Jamaicans, Trinidad, Barbados, Levi, that's your Haitians, Ephraim, that's your so-called Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, Cubans, Simeon, Dominicans, Zebulon, Guatemala to Panama, the Mayans, they used to call themselves the Mayans. You heard the Mayan calendar? All right, well, the Mayan calendar was supposed to be these uh, this uh, so-called native tribe to Guatemala or Panama. They used to have a calendar where it would tell you when the end of the world was coming. Now, how do you think they knew when the end of the world was coming? Because their ancestors read the Bible because they were the people in the Bible. You see what I'm saying? That's how they knew that. They knew what the prophecy said in the scriptures. Now, watch this. Gad, that's the so-called Native American Indians. Reuben, that's so-called Seminole Indians. Asher, that's Colombia to Uruguay. Issachar, that's the so-called Mexicans. They called them the Aztecas. They were a mighty tribe. In Nathalie, it's Argentina to Chile. These God's people right here. Anybody outside this sign is not God's people, bro. To scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth